The development phase of a software project consists of all construction activities that implement the elicited requirements. This may include software design, code writing, and bug fixes. In this video, we'll explore how Notion Solutions manages the development phase of a software project using Visual Studio Team System. Before development can begin, a requirement is captured, detailed, and prioritized in a backlog. After prioritization, a development iteration can be planned based on the resources available to the project team. Requirements are scheduled for work in this iteration based on their priority and their size. The first step in development is the breakdown of a given requirement into tasks which are placed in team system and assigned to team members. This happens in parallel with any necessary design and the result is a set of tasks that define a requirement. These tasks are related to their parent requirement so that the traceability between requirements and the tasks that implement them is captured. Notion uses a tool called TeamRM to quickly manage these relationships. These relationships can also be seen from each task and each requirement work item. After the tasks are captured and development proceeds, the development team will begin completing tasks. As the tasks are completed, the source that is committed to version control is associated with its related task. This provides traceability between the work assignment, in this case, task work items, and the work product. These relationships will also allow us to determine what source code was responsible for implementing requirements. To help influence the code quality of each check-in, Notion requires developers to run unit tests, perform static code analysis, and to use the code metrics tools available with Visual Studio Team Edition for developers. Unit testing will include all code that's written, including databases. Code metrics will help the team write code that is easier to maintain and help reduce system complexity. Static code analysis helps the team write code that conforms to organizational best practices as well as industry best practices. Once code conforms to Notion quality standards, it can be checked in. At this point, an automated build, including a build of database code, is performed each time code is checked into version control. Unit testing and code analysis is also performed during the build process. Notion uses these builds to help maintain the quality of integrated code. Customers can monitor the quality of the code being produced using Team System reports. These reports are the same reports that Notion project managers and team leads are using to manage the quality of the work being performed at real time. Customers will be able to see the percentage of tests that are passing, the code coverage of unit tests, and code churn of a given specific check-in. They can also use the Quality Indicators report to see how all of these attributes overlay to spot patterns in the system and compare that to the number of bugs that are open in the system. Once development is completed, the Quality Assurance process will proceed. The Quality Assurance process will identify bugs that can be triaged and worked by the development team. Bugs will follow a similar workflow to tasks, will be required to follow the same quality control mechanisms, and will need to be associated with the source code actually responsible for fixing a given bug. The result of the previous effort is full traceability from the requirement that was initially identified to the actual source code written to implement it. That concludes this overview of how Notion uses Visual Studio Team System to assist with the development phase of its software projects. For more information on development practices, Visual Studio Team System, or application lifecycle management, please visit www.notionsolutions.com/alm.